Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of different basic expressions in After Effects. And the first expression that you're going to learn today is wiggle. So we want to wiggle this um, circles position. So press P on your keyboard and then hold on to Alt and click on the stopwatch to activate um, the expression dialog box and you can type in your expression in this box and wiggle expression is just wiggle open bracket and then you're gonna put two sets of number I'm gonna type in 10 comma 20 and so the first number means um, the amount of times that your circle is gonna move in a second so in this case your circle is gonna move 10 times in a second and the second number is the amplitude which means how many pixels your circle is going to move so in this case it will move up to 20 pixels in a second so if we're going to preview it now you see your circle is um, wiggling or like jittering and obviously you can play around with the number experiment on what you like um, so I'm just going to try to make the circle move around in the space like as if like it's floating around so I'm going to try uh, one for the amount of time so that means that the circle is just gonna move uh, one time in a second and for the second number I'm gonna bump it up high to 500 which means that the circle can travel up to 500 pixels in a second so I preview now it's now floating nicely in a in the space obviously you can do whatever you want it's um, you can suit the number to what you need and yeah that's how you wiggle and you can obviously just like duplicate the circles and maybe um, change the scale to 50 and the other one to 75 and if you preview it they all move randomly they don't really move in the same direction so if you want to make some sort of like particles with this wiggle effect you can do it the second expression is loop out. This expression just means that your animation is going to loop um, throughout the composition. So I want to animate the scale. So you set the first keyframe to 35 and then go to one second and then set it to 100 and then go to two second and then just copy the first keyframe and paste that. It's really important to make sure your last keyframe and your first keyframes are the same. Um, in order for the looping uh, to be working and we want to easy ease all the keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard obviously if you preview it now the animation is just going to stop at 2 seconds but we want to loop that out throughout the composition so activate your expression again by hitting Alt and clicking the stopwatch icon and just type in loop out open, open bracket and close bracket if you preview it, now the circle is looping out throughout the composition without you having to copy and paste all of the keyframes. So the third expression is time. And time expression is basically to tell the object to move over time with the default being per second. So I have a really simple clock design here and we want to animate the rotation of the slides. So activate the expression on the rotation. And if you just type in time, and you preview that, you can see that the line is moving really slow. This just means that it moves one degree per second. And in order to speed that up, obviously we have to multiply it. So you just type in time and type in the star icon and type in whatever number you want. I'm going to try 50. Now the speed is 50 times faster. And you can speed it up as much as you want. For example, you can type in 100 and obviously it will be much faster. Now, next one, we're going to copy the minute rotation to the hour rotation. And obviously if we preview that, they're going to rotate at the same speed and we don't want that. We want to make the hour to be slower than the minute. So if we change the change the expression a little bit and then type in slash 12 the slash 12 just means that it's going to divide the speed uh, to 12 times and yeah if we preview it now now the clock is moving at a slower speed 
Last but not least is the index expression. Index expression allows you to rotate multiple shapes around a center point and you can define how many shapes you want. So, for example, I have this line drawn over here and we want to activate the expression on the rotation control and just type an index times 360 and then slash and the next number you're going to type in is the number of shapes that you want around the center point. I'm going to type in 10 and then if we duplicate this nine times, so make sure that there's uh, 10 shapes. As you see, they all automatically duplicate themselves around the center point by 10 times. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel free to ask me questions in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it.